Welcome back everyone to Ray Vinyl Reminiscence, the channel where I share my passion for hardcore from between 91 to 95, along with some of my own memories and reflections along the way. In this episode, we come back to another killer label, one that I would think to best describe as just fun, but classy. It's a slight contrast in some ways to some of the darker, more serious hardcore that we've visited of late, and it showcases a skillful junction between two genres that by the mid-90s had all but completely separate. That record label, as you've seen from the title, is of course Rabbit City Records. So here we are again, here in my little musical sanctuary, Sunday morning, have espresso, all is good. And before we get started, I'm feeling a bit of love and I want to share it. So in my job, I do a lot of public speaking, facilitating large group discussions, workshops, training, that kind of thing. So I get to mix with an awful lot of people and engage you know, on a pretty deep level with them. But something really shines out in the comments of the videos as I've been reading through them. And that is the sense of respect and unity. It's beautiful. So you out there, you'll be from all different walks of life, and you? different challenges, different life experiences, various opinions, and yet you see that a love for music can bring people together with some commonality to share the same space. It's one of the things that I remember and really treasure about my memories going back in the early 90s around the raves. So there's not been a time that I've read through them comments and it's been anything other than just a warm sense in my soul. So I want to thank you for that, you lovely human beings. So before we start with the music, let's lay the foundations down with a little bit of history around this label. The Rabbit City record label was co-founded in 1991 by Gordon Matthewman, otherwise known on the scene as DJ Edge of Edge Records, and Colin Favor who amongst many other things was one of the co-founding members and the DJs on KISS FM going back. When those of you are old enough to remember, KISS FM was a pirate radio station. The first press Gordon and Colin released on this label was one of their own productions and it was under the alias of Razor Boy and Mirror Man. We'll be listening to that in just a bit. Rabbit City featured collaborations with numerous artists over the years, but most significantly of all for me with Michael Wells, a.k.a. Force mass motion. I'm not sure where Mike is these days, but apparently he comes originally from just around the corner from me here in West Sussex. And studied at Kingston University, I used to live near there as well. And apparently spent a bit of time at Stearns, so loads of respect. The Rabbit City tracks that I'm going to feature in this video are a beautiful amalgam of hardcore and techno. As we approach the mid 90s, Rabbit City moved towards a purer techno sound which wasn't really my cup of tea. But in this video, we're going to take a look at 16 tracks in total from six releases, covering the period from 1991 to 1993. Now I have to say, as I do every time, I only own a relatively small percentage of the total number of releases pressed on this record label. I've only bought the ones that I absolutely adore and I know that I'm going to play all the time. So there will be some that I've missed, if there's any absolute killer ones that you think, wow, why is that not in there? Please tell me in the comments. I've really enjoyed reading that. So let's get started with the music. Kicking off with 1991, Rabbit City 1, Razor Boy and Mirror Man, or as I said in the intro, Colin Favor and Gordon Matthewman. And both sides of this are worth a play. One I love more than the other quite considerably. So I'm going to start off with Beyond Control, not like massively keen on this track, but there's, there's one section in it that I really do like. And it features sample and stabs from a 1989 track from Landlord called I Like It. That sample used loads of times. Carl Cox used it. It's featured in one of the uh, tracks that I played in the homegrown video I've done of DJs Unknown. The other side of this release though is where it's really at, cut and mix. A beautiful patchwork of various different big rave sounds. I'm going to play a few clips of some of my favourite sections, starting with this which opens straight up after the lead-in. 
The second section I want to play is essentially Moby's Go. Well, those of you who are old enough to remember the old TV series Twin Peaks, remember that bloody programme? If you're able to make it through any further than like episode 3 of 800, then you've got more patience than I have. But yes, Tell me in the comments if, if they actually solved anything whatsoever in that programme. Have a listen. We've got this nice hectic section which instantly took me back to the outdoor illegal raves. I fit some stabs on it that uh, uh, remind me of an old Tronic house tune. <laughs> And in the last section I want to play is this lovely little complete breakdown, totally sort of chilled ambient section. That track works every single time in a set, it's killer. So we're moving on to 1992 now. Rabbit City Free, and this is Digital Domain. This is the white label, so um, all I've got written on it is literally number three. This is such a cool tune. It's very, very rolling and some really tasteful vocals in it. Have a listen to the opener. Then we've got this middle breakdown, which I love. I remember hearing this on a Stern's mixtape back in 1992 and like having no idea what it was. And you'll hear it kind of, the sound flicks on and off on it. And I remember thinking that the DJ was doing that live, but it's on the track. If anyone knows any other tunes that this particular sample has been used on, please stick it in the comments. But it's really, really ambient and atmospheric. <laughs> Tune kicks off and then hits this funky little vocal section. You say one for trouble, two for time. Come on, girls, let's rock that. You say one for trouble, two for time. Come on, girls, let's rock that. You say one for trouble, two for time. Come on, girls, let's rock that. Alright. Alright. You say one for trouble, two for time. Come on, girls, let's rock that. The tune then opens up to the section that I love most about this, and it's with these relentless stabs that are very kind of uh, inner city good life. It's wicked. Okay, 
So now we're into force mass motion territory, actually for the rest of the tracks. And the first is Rabbit City 4, and that's the force mass motion EP. These tunes are just, I said at the beginning, just fun. They're big rave tracks, they're very, very unique sounding, so bouncy and just atmospheric. I want to start up with the Reach Up remix. I mean, have a listen to this, these are massive rave sounds. <laughs> Above all, like the energy is just so positive. Such massive smiles, like listen to this. These tunes are just impregnated of all those memories of times when it was like totally acceptable to take a whistle and blow it at a bloody music event or like wander around with your top off and no one think it was odd. Just like tunes like this played all night, the only thing that ate in the morning more than your calf muscles was your cheeks from smiling. Okay next, same side, Take Me Higher on this lovely opener but I said on a video before like the drum sequencing from Blame's Music Takes You, anywhere that features, I love it. It's one of my favourite drum sequences, and we have it here. Jump, jump, until you get tired. Yeah, yeah. Jump, jump, until you get tired. Then we bust through to this classic force mass motion section here with this interlude moment for you to either take a look at the back of your own eye sockets or spark your next fag up from your last fag or just look across the dance floor and share a bit of love. bit later with a bit of a section. Last tune I want to play on this release is on the other side and it's Miami Burning. Such a great tune. It's really lovely when you bring them all together and just play them one after the other, I've said before, and you start to really get a sense for the signature sound of the label. But this is the, the, the energy of this is just so bobbing and, you know, out to a club, lasers, this kind of music, and it's just like, forget the worries of the world. Further on, we have this section cracking your heart open, big sound system resonating through you, a thousand other party goers, all there for the same reason. The last part I want to play from this track, for me, kind of exemplifies some of the formula Force Mass Motion got right in these tunes, where it brings in kind of like a hook, like a sample that's a hook, and then, and then once it's got you, it then starts to drive relentlessly with it. <laughs> Blinder. 
So moving on now, Rabbit City 5, and I want to start off a track called Explosion. Referencing back to some of the things that I've said, you know, kind of like these signature sounds, that kind of formula of like get a hook and then start to drive it with momentum. But also that sort of transition time of very techno influenced hardcore. Um, this is a good example of that, you know, so the moving away here in places from a classic kind of drum beats to that sort of more synthesized pounding. Great, have a listen to this beginning part. Then we hit this lovely section here, which again just can't fail to cheer you up. Really, I don't know what I, I, just what I've been feeling listening to these. It's like it's something to do with the frequency of this music that resonates. I don't know on the same frequency as life or something. It's just so positive. There's something right about it. <laughs> Then here comes the hook and the drive. <laughs> but my favourite part of this tune without a doubt is the introduction of these outlander type rave stabs and how they then just push forwards like you launched out of a cannon. Another tune on this release is VNE. I'm going to play a very, very quick taster because I'm going to play the later remix, which I think is bad. <laughs> We also have a track on this release called Let It Move You, which I'm not like absolutely over the moon about, but I do like this section. Oh. Okay, we are now on to Rabbit City 6. This is a quality release, man. I'm going to start off with, I said a moment ago about the later remix of VNE. This is the Thief of Minds mix, which I think I, this is the one that I love the most. This is the kind of tune where, like, if you were to put this on in the car on the way home, you weren't doing the driver any favours. Reflecting on those car journeys back in them days, a big thank you out to Brizey and to Matt for all the driving you did back then. Man versus A24. Okay, this next section is one of my favourite sounds on this record label from any of the tunes. I love this. This Thief of Minds mix then hits this really dirty, very, very techno y section here with an absolutely classic force mass motion kind of vocal sample.
And then this last section here with this kind of choppy changing jousting of samples. On the flip side of this, we've got a tune that is instantly recognisable as a sound of this era, and that is Collision Course. I, I can imagine this tune actually kind of playing in the background of like a documentary about raves at this time. Collision course lures you in with that kind of gentle bobbing along feel and then smashes into this much dirtier section here. But notice again, it's got a hard edge to it, but it's balanced with this lovely positive vibe vocal. And in this later section, takes that same sample, like, chops it up and mixes it up a little bit, but then just hear how like the introduction of the kind of backgroundy vocal and then the energy just builds again before it launches off. So that takes us now into 1993, and this is Rabbit City 7, this is the Escape EP, great release. Um, demonstrates really well that transition I was saying earlier into the, the more sort of pure techno side of things. This is the latest one that I bought, and uh, after this really for me personally, it kind of went a bit too techno for my taste, but love this. I want to start off with a track called Esthesis, if I pronounced that right. Um, listen out, because Going back to one of the track ID, the last track ID um, episode we did, this was actually suggested as a possible solution for one of the tracks that people have requested, but great track. <laughs> Over along we have this cool section here with uh, someone will tell me what the correct terminology is for this, but it just to me just sounds like someone twatting away on an empty guttering pipe, but then the energy just builds again and wham. Not wham, bang. <laughs> Weird, isn't it? Because although it's like completely synthesized, for me it's got a very, very tribal sound, this kind of techno edge. Then we've got this last section, which has got again a classic force mass motion vocal sample. <laughs> So on the same side, we've got Subsonics. Now this is really getting very, very techno now. Um, it's like, this is, as, this is as far as it can go for me. I remember going back in the day, sort of in, in 93, um, so in the last kind of six months to eight months of Stearns, I mean, Stearns closed 
the Stones that I remember in the dance, the Mensa era was, uh, I believe that was the last one, 14th of August, uh, 1993. But in 93 we'd go out and there were nights when it, it was, you'd get like techno most of the night and I always remember being quite disappointed with that because I'm, I just much preferred the kind of vibe of the hardcore. But this tune still has a great vibe and driving energy. Now we hit the genius of this tune. Okay, so we've just had that very, very kind of driving techno feel. And then we just hit this beautiful section in. massage for the soul that now as it moves forwards that techno buzz starts to creep back in and then there's this lovely fit where the the orchestral part just kind of switches off and drops down and bang it's off <laughs> Flip side, this we've got Force Format. And this tune for me is a, is a real credit to Mike Wells of how it was able to blend those kind of styles together. So this tune's just got a little bit of everything. We've got drums, we've got techno driving beat, we've got happy vibe section. Have a listen, this is the first part. <laughs> Now the tune changes up to this lovely happy vibe section with that kind of signature vocal sample and straight into drums. Here it comes. I just want to play this last little section here because this this is an absolute gut rumbler on a big system. <laughs> Finally on this release is Panic. It's not my favourite tune on the EP, but I'm going to play it because it's easily recognisable straight away. It was very, very popular back in the day. Um, definitely a sound of the era, without a doubt. <laughs> And in this middle section, very, very high energy. And, you know, just to, to say again, like this bounce, this whole bouncing, happy vibe that this music carried. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
So that brings us almost to the end of our journey of Rabbit City Records. Like I said, I've really enjoyed pulling these tunes out and playing them again and playing them one after the other. Such a lovely, uplifting vibe. Cannot fail to cheer you up. So I pondered over what the play out track was going to be for this video. And I settled on, back to 1992, Rabbit City 6, the induction EP, and I want to play Jack of Diamonds. Great tune. Why? Well, I love it. But also, it's just a great example of a real mixture of all of those classic force mass motion samples. There's the craziness, there's the lovely uplifting section, and lots of that kind of driving energy. So I think it's a great one to finish with, and I hope you like it. I'll be back soon with another video, whether it's focusing on another record label again, or whether we look at some of my favorites from different years. I want to pull out some of the white labels I've got, run over some of the rare gems that I've obtained over the years, loads of different ideas. And of course, in between our Tune ID episodes, which are going really, really well at the moment. Until then, take care of yourselves, keep spreading the love, and I'll see you soon.